Well, this is what I have to deal with. Guys, it's just everything is red. Good morning, ladies and gents. Today is the day. So I'm gonna drink my coffee and I'll be going to the garage to pick up the bike. Bike is parked. It's um, looking a little bit scary. I have uh, two crossbar bags, left and right. I have more camping gear. I have two bags with other stuff. I have uh, both cases full, and of course I have a top case full as well. I didn't plant this bag, but. Uh, it was so many things that I want to take with me. This bag was really necessary, so uh, we'll see, we'll see. It's gonna be an adventure. So I'm gonna go home now and uh, in the rest and uh, tomorrow early morning. Let's go. See you tomorrow, guys. It's early in the morning. It's 20 past uh, five. Now, because uh, I can't leave uh, my car on a property of uh, garages, so this is my transportation for today. So, uh, a little bit gymnastics uh, in the morning. So, uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's go north. So, let's uh, ride the bike in the morning. In the morning. So this is my morning cardio. I'm absolutely out of shape. To be honest with you, I really need to cycle more. Now I made it to the garage, but there's one more thing I have to do before I go anywhere because my Versus, it's a brand new bike. I haven't been anywhere yet with it. So, I'm gonna start a new custom. In every country will arrive to the Versus. I'm gonna put the flag of this country. And I'm gonna start right now. I have already three flags. A European Union flag, because I'm a citizen of um, European Union. Of course, I have a Dutch flag, because Versus is Dutch, I'm, I'm living here. And the third one is a uh, South Holland province flag and that's exactly where I live so uh, those three flags goes here I think. Now here we go. Let's just ready for road because it's already late and it's very busy on the uh, on the highway. So, uh, so let's go. Let's start this journey. 6:43. I have to go buy uh, some fuel because it's almost empty. It's 
bike is pretty heavy so I need to get used to it it's a little bit different riding I have a few also let's go so what is the plan for today I have about uh, 760 kilometers to go today and I'm going to Denmark where I booked uh, accommodation and B&B bed and breakfast for this moment I'm traveling alone why am I traveling alone it's because my uh, travel buddy the travel companion lives in Sweden so we're gonna meet up there but until then so two days I'm on my own and I'm going uh, towards Utrecht which is a big city there is always uh, the traffic jams I have to pass Utrecht before uh, it gets very busy it's gonna be riding on the highway all the time today so not really interesting so uh, I'm not gonna be recording all the time it's just uh, boring highway is boring so uh, see you later guys I have to stop for a while I have some problem with the charging my phone it's, my phone is out of juice charging stations not working and I have no idea why first problem of the day I hope it's not the fuse otherwise I have to open this side again I don't want to do that so let's hope that's just a connection problem or something I don't know okay I don't know what's really the problem left side power outlet doesn't work I don't know why let's go looks like this left side doesn't work the right side is charging i don't know why okay uh let's go i'm having my break with um broodje kaneel and my coffee i did about uh, uh, almost 200 kilometers so actually it's going it's going quite good now I told you that uh, for the next two days I be on my own it's not exactly true because I took someone with me I took with me this little guy I call him Oli from the uh, Oli Funds. and from that moment on I very cleverly mixed the Dutch word into my bad English by passionately repeating the word Olifant, which in English means of course elephant. So let's count how many times I managed to do it. And Oli comes with a funny story. So yeah, let's start in the beginning. Because I'm mostly working all days and I'm almost never at home. When I order something online, he sent uh, all the packages to my dear friend Etty. And then uh, when I'm in the neighborhood, I just go pick it up. So uh, the last time I ordered a few things and the shop where I order it, they were so happy with me that they gave me a bonus. And the bonus was a few stickers and uh, this little guy. So I knew that, that he's coming uh, in a package. I didn't plan to do anything with that little guy. But when I went to pick up the, uh, the parcel, to my friend Edgy, she asked me as usual. She always asked me, "Yeah, what, what did you buy this time?" And I said immediately, "An olifant." And she was like, "Nah," she didn't believe me at all. So I opened the package and I took out this little guy, a little olifant. I said, "Now look, you don't believe me? Look, I have an olifant." And she was like, "What?" And I'm telling you. It was worth it just to see her face. Of course then she said, yeah, why, why, why did you buy an olifant? Why, why do you need an olifant? What are you going to do with it? It's, you know, all those questions. And I must say, her curiosity created an uh, idea in my head. I thought, you know what, I'm going to take this guy with me and he's going to ride with me 
to Scandinavia. So this is exactly what I'm going to do. So at the Schat, Oli is going to be first olifant in the world that will travel a motorcycle through Scandinavia. All of that thanks to you. So groetjes at the now I have to find a place for this guy and I don't want to lose him so I have to make for him uh, some kind of harness. So let's try to do something with it. Okay guys, coffee break is over. Here we go. Now guys, I'm in Germany, so it is time for a new flag. Here we go. some more uh, fuel it's almost empty when you go off the highway the small town there is mostly cheaper but that's exactly what I did I completely forgot to lubricate my uh, chain yesterday which is unacceptable so I have to do it now It's a lunch time. Okay, I have eaten my lunch. My belly is full. So let's go. I still have uh, 400 kilometers to go. Hamburg there was a traffic gym there was more than 30 degrees now well, this is what I have to deal with guys it's just everything is red so I really need a uh, break I need to cool down a little bit it's way too hot So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome in Denmark! No, not yet, one kilometer. Almost, almost there. 40, seriously? And border control. That's absolutely new for me. Why? I'm asking. I thought... Denmark is in the European Union or not? Yes, of course it is. Okay, now I'm officially in Denmark. 
so I'm in Denmark of course it's time for a new flag let me see here yeah let's let's do it here here we go Denmark actually I have never been uh, before in uh, Denmark so that's my first time it's so far I like it it's nice it's green it's clean it looks good now we have a first bridge in Denmark quite good looking bridge and the view of course nice this side no not so much to see but yeah yeah that's a nice bridge yeah Denmark is a beautiful country I have to say let me see I have to go here on the right so here I am in Denmark I have arrived to my lovely accommodation just look at that it looks nice I have all this garden for myself with a lovely view there it's absolutely quiet here there is nobody here the owner live uh, on the solar side but uh, they they not at home so I just let myself in uh, with the, this uh, key box and uh, here I have a lovely sleeping room with a nice bed, everything nice and clean. I have a TV, I have a table, I have a fridge and a water cooker and I have a bathroom of course, a lovely bathroom and the toilet. So it's just all what you need to uh, to rest so that's exactly what I'm gonna do and uh, tomorrow I'm going to Sweden so see you tomorrow so I'm in a quite uh, special place today